What's up guys, it's Dom Matter here, and today we're going to be reacting to Russian Badger, or sorry, THE Russian Badger. Uh, it's my first time watching them, I've been suggesting them quite a few times. Uh, funnily enough, the same video almost every time, uh, and that is For the Emperor, Warhammer 40k Space Marine. So obviously this is the, you know, the, the game 40k Space Marine, uh, and I believe this guy is kind of a gaming channel where he makes comedy type reviews about games, kind of similar to Sassine Dash, from my understanding. Uh, so I'm yeah expecting this to be pretty funny. So anyway, link to the original video down below. And again, this is for the Emperor Warhammer 40k Space Marine from the Russian Badger. Let's jump into it. I came here to do two things and two things only: purge heretics and steal property. And I already <laughs> stole your property, so let's do this. Face your heresy <laughs> for the Emperor. Welcome to the grim darkness of the future, where fun isn't allowed, happiness is banned, peace doesn't exist, and there's only war. Abandon reason! No, only war! <laughs> In this war, it's us versus them. Us being the Imperium of Man, led by the Almighty Emperor himself. There is no shelter for those who oppose the Imperium of Man. And them being anybody that isn't us. For the sake of simplicity, we'll just call them Xenos. Xenos. And what's the only thing defending us from them, you might ask? Space Marines! Get off the ship, Space Marines! Space Marines! Space Marines! Genetically modified, just like the vegetables at the grocery store, <laughs> only instead of staying ripe for long- The fucking tomato guy from Fortnite. ...periods of time, they're crafted by the Emperor to purge heretics. <laughs> Die! We're talking two hearts. We're talking three lungs. We're talking night vision. We're talking eight foot tall, 800 pound monsters that look like Hulk Hogan ate Boogie 2988 <laughs> and covered himself in a steel suit of armor the size of a Range Rover. We are the bringers of death. Think of them as religion fueled death machines hell bent on exterminating any race that isn't human while also not being racist. Racist? Space Marines aren't racist. We love all races. As long as they don't have green skin. Eat bolt gun! <laughs> or, you know, belong to a different religion. Yeah, technically, I mean, they're not racist. They're just incredibly xenophobic in the sense of, like, actual xenos, not other cultures. And they're incredibly religiously zealot, religious zealotry. Like, yeah. I don't know why anyone would call us racist. I'm a black priest for Emperor's sake. Even gods may die! We don't hate any races, except orcs, and Eldar, and Dark Eldar, and Necrons, and Tau, because nobody likes dumbass weeaboo space comics. <laughs> but at least they aren't trying to eat us like the Tyranids. Glossing over all that lore that you don't need to understand, one such chapter of Space Marines are the Ultramarines, or if we're being honest, Ultra Smurfs, that are charged with exterminating okay. the orcs on one of your manufacturing planets that... So I, either he, I don't know if he does a bunch of Warhammer content. Okay, he might, yeah, he definitely does. Because when I look at the recommended videos, a bunch of them are Warhammer content from him. Okay, I was going to say, he's got a lot of, like, Warhammer-specific jokes in here. I, w I wasn't sure if he did a lot of Warhammer content or if it was just, you know, he'd, like, yeah, knew it. That are stealing your shit. Clever of the damn dogs. How important is this shit that they're stealing, you might ask? Strategic value absolute. Absolute. So I'm, I'm guessing that's pretty important then. Strategic value absolute. That doesn't make things any clearer for the audience. Strategic value absolute. You occupy the role of Captain Titus, a soft-spoken junior officer voiced by the legendary Mark Strong that's joined by an OG no sergeant and a turbo nerd subordinate named Leandros that constantly hounds you about not following a dipshit rule book called a codex <laughs> okay well, i want to google mark strong real quick because the fact that he's a legendary voice actor uh oh mark strong apparently he's just an actor mark strong yeah don't recognize this guy what's he in um okay apparently he's in sherlock holmes kick ass uh kingsman i've never actually watched kingsman but i've heard of it he's in shazam um, the live-action Cruella remake. Okay. Cool. I had no idea he was in so many different things. Yeah, like, I'm looking at his, uh... Oh, he's in Endgame? Like... Okay, not Endgame that I'm thinking of. Oh, he's in Green Lantern. Yeah, okay, so he's in quite a few things. I'm surprised I've never heard of him. I've probably seen him before and just not known who he was. He's like one of those actors you see all the time and have no idea what their name is. 
Wise, Captain. The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Shut the fuck up, Leandros. For the Emperor! <laughs> to be perfectly clear, I beat the entire game once in its default state and had so much of a blast, I beat it again immediately afterwards, only with mods out the ass. So instead of playing as a calm and collected Crypt Marine... I played as a Blood Marine, which, if I'm being honest, was a slightly different experience. Die, scum! No prisoners! For the Emperor! Ah! So if you're about to write this video <laughs> off as heresy or confusing, I understand. I just grew up playing an RTS called Dawn of War and would rather play as a Blood Raven than an Ultramarine Smurf Blueberry. None of this is really important unless they're purging and also, spoiler alert, transitions are weird. The orcs invading your planet and trying to steal your huge-ass Titan tank are a super diverse bunch, ranging from puny little orc children that shouldn't even exist. Micro heretics. Don't run away from me! Why do you even exist? Why? Come on. Yeah! All the way up to the orc war boss Grimskull himself, who was basically Shrek in his final form. You try to steal my giants? Steal my loot? I'll rip your guts right out of your throat! <laughs> Equally as diverse are the weapons at your disposal to eradicate them with, from a dinky bolter pistol all the way to a heavy bolter, because when it comes to orcs, the caliber you're firing can never be too high. I'm gonna need a heavy bolter for this heresy. The quickest way to purge through scores of orcs? Melee. Getting up close and personal is not only the fastest way to cut through a horde of orcs with single, double, and triple hit combos, but believe it or not, it's how space marines heal. Yeah, that's that's right, these guys are so draconian they don't need to pick up health kits because the enemies <laughs> are the health kits. That's like the one skull in Halo. I can't remember the name of it. Um, is it Black Eye? I can't remember the name of it. There's a skull in Halo that basically does the same thing. You only regen health from melee. Just crump some poor orc, mash your stun key until an orange skull pops up and execute his ass for a speedy and convenient health boost. Die, heretics! Yum. Your melee yep. weapon of choice is a trade-off between speed and damage. Like the chainsword is agile and great for cutting things, while you're also simultaneously already cutting things, but it's less potent against heavy armor. I am cutting things even though I was already cutting things. On the other hand, or rather with power both hands, thirst. the thunder hammer handles as awkwardly as a bus, but it also hits like a bus, running a stop sign in a school zone. Hey yo, what are you doing, <laughs> bus? I'm about to send your ass into outer space. And you've got a power axe in between those two extremes, and I can't explain why, but it feels like you're competing in a figure skating slash rhythmic gymnastics competition when you use it, and I'm oddly okay with that. <laughs> If you want to get fancy, you can melee three times and mash stun to curb stun multiple enemies and choke slam any motherfucker still standing. Die, King So it's safe to say that when it comes to this move, the Emperor most definitely does approve. Emperor I said, approved. Save, so I think I stunned too hard. I'm stuck in the terrain. Man, this being my first Russian Badger video, just the. Like, I, I knew he kind of did, like, humorous content, but I, like. It, it's. It, so much different than, like, any other, like, humorous game YouTuber on YouTube. Like, he speaks so... I don't even know how to describe it. He, he speaks, like, a legitimate review, but then just the jokes you th he throws in all the time, it's, like, much more funny than you would see. Like, he literally sounds like he would be on IGN. I don't know if he used to have a career doing that. But, like, he literally... Like, his, the, his voice, his cadence, the way he talks, sounds like he's, like, an IGN reporter. But then, like, it's obviously, like, the humor. You would never see that kind of humor from, like, an IGN video. Brother! Brother, I am stuck in the terrain! <laughs> Where's Captain Diomedes when you need him? Brother! Brother! Brother, I am pinned here! Eventually, <laughs> you'll realize you can't just slice your way through the game. <laughs> Chaos Marines and their pedantic piece of shit leader meme rock. <laughs> that noise cannot defeat me! And you'll need to start firing guns if you want to survive. Or, more specifically, Bolters. Bolters, brothers! If you call this thing an assault rifle, I'm gonna break your arms. Because it may be used like an assault rifle, only instead of firing a 223 the size of a crayon, or a 308 the size of your finger, it fires a 998, which... Should actually be a 75 cal according to the lore. That's essentially <laughs> like firing a self-propelled can of Red Bull that explodes after penetrating its target, making it almost into an assault rifle RPG hybrid. How many fucking robots is this 
place had are we invading an Imperium outpost or Amazon headquarters? I should have never canceled my prime. You have downward <laughs> variants and upward variants, like the Bolter pistol in case you've got something heavy in your hands, and my personal favorite, the Stalker Bolter, which is the most satisfying oh, sniper rifle I've ever had the privilege of using. Just like Sesame Street, you ready? And one, and two, and not three, not four, five. I'm really glad that all the orcs saw that are about to be burned, because that was embarrassing. If you absolutely, <laughs> positively, have to expend as many rounds as possible, the Storm Bolter does exist, which is like a double-barreled LMG that's cool for the first five minutes that you use it. The rate of fire of the Storm Bolter? Perfection. The accuracy of the Storm Bolter? Eh, just put him anywhere that's remotely close to a target. I don't really give a shit. But better <laughs> alternatives do exist because the game gives you four slots consisting of a primary, secondary, long range, and fuck, 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 the way to it. Fuck. I kept the standard bolter and stalker bolter throughout most of the game because sometimes one bolter just isn't enough to stop a horde of orcs trying to crump your ass into outer space. I'm gonna need two bolters for this heresy. But once I started fighting the forces of chaos, I dropped the stalker for the Laz Cannon or Laze Cannon, aka the Space Marine Spartan Laser that was clearly superior because here's me killing a Chaos Marine with a bolter. <laughs> He's always just standing there. Thank the Emperor! I was starting to think he was invincible there for a second. And here's me doing the same deed with a Laz Cannon slash Laze Cannon. By the Emperor, that's powerful. For your heavy slot, it's all about the Vengeance Launcher, which fires sticky nades that you can personally detonate, because who wants to launch rockets when you can launch Vengeance? A Vengeance Launcher. That sounds promising. Even a flame bursting shotgun exists, but all of these specialized weapons rip through ammo at an incredible pace, so honing your bolter skills is the way to go. Burn them in flame! Burn in holy fire! Navigating the levels is obviously done by either running or rolling. Don't ask me how the hell these characters roll in this much armor. It's a long story. But read, the <laughs> yeah, read the fucking lore. That's so true. Uh, they're supposed to be like, you know, eight foot tall, massive, hulking beings that are like hundreds of pounds and they're yeah they, they move like they're figure skaters like he was saying that you know uh earlier with the, the sword thing it's like a mix between a figure skater and a uh someone doing rhythmic gymnastics it's so true your dark souls character to kite enemies or get to objectives faster is a significant portion of your playthrough it's even useful in boss fights because who needs to kill orcs when you can just roll out of the way and have orcs kill themselves here he comes here he comes here he oh baby how does it feel like a crump by a member of your own race on that note there are even these That's little mike wazowski normal. looking dudes called mike squigs wazowski. that explode on impact and are arguably better at killing orcs than you are so this theme of orcs killing themselves is not a new phenomenon come on squig merch merge into the group get in there Get in there! Yeah! But as I was saying, you won't always be running or rolling through the terrain because eventually you'll gain access to a jump pack, which when combined with a thunder hammer is like an NBA Me dunk scum. contest mixed with Super Smash Brothers. Outside of LeBron, five seconds left. LeBron leaps! Oh my god! That's actually cool as shit. James with a complete disregard for orc life. Feel the Emperor's wrath! <laughs> <laughs> This jump pack also happens to be wonderful at getting you places in record time. It's almost like using unbridled rage as a mode of transportation. I fucking love my commute! And now that you know what you're swinging, shooting, and zooming around with, there's one thing that enhances everything. And that's called Fury. If being a space marine wasn't already super soldier enough, you can channel Fury, which builds up as you purge heretics and, well... Deliver merciless justice upon the enemies of humanity. That means your health surges. That means you hit harder. That means you turn 30 seconds of hacking and slashing into a 10 second nightmare for any enemies in your general vicinity, punctuated with curb stomps that are extra earth trembling. Oh, that never gets old. This fury becomes more and more powerful as the game goes on, and there's even a marksman mode. So if you ever wanted to enter. Man, th this melee, like just the melee combat in this seems so fun. And also the sniper, like he was saying, the sniper just seems so clean. I think he's about to talk about that again, but all oh, this, this, honestly, like I think they have Space Marine 2 coming out. It might already be out, actually. I, I reacted to the trailer, I want to say like back in January, so the game might be out already. I'm not sure when the official release date is, but it makes me want to play Space Marine. For a slow motion bullet time mode as a badass Space Marine, here's your shot. Oh. 
there was another game that used to have that. I can't remember what it's called, though. Uh, Fallout has it, but it's not Fallout I'm thinking of. It was a it, It's a first-person shooter game that had something similar. Oh, it was on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. I can't remember the name of it. It's not Army of Two. Um, oh, I can't remember it. Comment down below if you remember that game I'm thinking of. It was it was a 360 and PlayStation 3 game that had like this like you would it, it was almost like this or like Vats in, in Fallout where it would like go into like a slow mo, but it was like completely a first person shooter game. <laughs> And the only aspect of the game that I love more than the combat, movement, and gear are the objectives. I'm pretty sure every objective in the game is either three words or four words, and that's the way it should be. Those True. guardsmen cannot survive that long. We find a way to destroy the gun. So you may be able to criticize some stretches of the game for being just running and rolling between elevators. Hey look, I'm on a lift. Does anybody know if repeatedly rolling or sprinting is faster? I've been at this 200 years, I still don't know. Hey look, a lift. But it focuses on what it's good at, which is violent purging and eradicating any life form that doesn't look like you. Ah, stop assisting! I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I would say sorry for hitting you so hard that the game glitched, but I don't apologize to Xenos. The story isn't all that important, <laughs> seeing as the game only takes five to six hours to beat, and the best character is Orc Warboss Grimskull, because he's the only character that doesn't put me to sleep with her monologuing. The orcs are great. Not that my second playthrough was any better because with all the mods I was running, none of the story made any sense. Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. It is the Bane Blade! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm all that's left, my lord. That damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault. And as you might have seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. Engaging warp spider! Ah! A warp <laughs> spider! But at least you get to hook up with some blood ravens to cleanse an entire bridge in the end sequence, and given their history of kleptomania, I'm shocked they didn't steal anything. Hippity hoppity, where the fuck is my property? You're gonna hit the final <laughs> boss fight with Mimroth, who's obsessed with becoming ascended for reasons that I won't spoil, but again, this game is about the gameplay, not about the story. Damn it, I had something for this. Uh, something, something. Away. It's not about the plotting, it's about the purging! The end. And that's about it, but before I go, I wanted to mention as of me recording this video right now, it is $7 on Steam. This is in no way a sponsored video. I'm pretty sure Relic, the guys that made it, don't even exist anymore. Of course, Sega still exists, but I don't think Relic is around anymore. So from an unbiased position, if you have $7 on you that you're not gonna spend on your next meal, I highly recommend that you pick it up. As long as you don't let a bunch of turbo nerds drown you in lore that takes lifetimes to understand, Warhammer 40k is fascinating. So again- <laughs> <laughs> that is so true, bro. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I've so I, I was reacting to Flash Kids videos, and I said I don't really understand. The, there was a bunch of 40k references because the Flash Kids guys are like hardcore 40k fans, and I, I said I don't really understand a lot about 40k. And then somebody suggested I react to like with this one 40k lore video from Bricky, and then on that it's like, oh, you gotta watch this, you gotta watch this, you gotta watch this, you gotta watch this, and then next thing you know. Like, all my out of my reactions, half of them are 40k, just because all these fans of 40k, it's like, you gotta watch this lore video, no, this lore video, no, this trailer, no, this trailer. <laughs> That's just so true, man. And seven dollars, totally worth it. Thanks very much for watching, and be sure to tune in next time when we make fun of the salamanders. Hey, this is a new space force they're trying to form here in the US. One can only wish. <clears throat> Said the FBI, busting down your door. When you're looking at lewd pics, it'll be. <laughs> the future's gonna be weird, man. Yeah, is it still $7? I don't think so. I'm gonna check Steam real quick.
I'm pretty sure it's like 60 bucks now. I, I remember looking into it. When is... Oh, this video came out four years ago. I remember when I watched the Space Marine 2 trailer. I checked Steam to see how much it was. And I want to say it was like 60 bucks. I might be wrong there. Might be, I might be thinking of a different Warhammer game. Um, but I remember looking at like a bunch of the different Warhammer games. And they were like all crazy expensive. The, the worst is honestly the Total War Warhammer series. Because they have 1, 2, and 3. 1 is still like 70 bucks. Right? Like, 1 and 2 are still, like, 70 bucks. The DLCs are still, like, full price. They haven't lowered... Like, they're, like, hardcore Nintendo. Like, Nintendo... Like, they, they... Nintendo doesn't understand what a sale is. I can't remember who it was we were watching on YouTube. I think I actually was doing a reaction to it. And they're, like, the Japanese don't understand what a sale is. And it's so true. Um, but I guess, you know, it's made... The game's made by Sega, so that makes sense. Uh, Warhammer. Space Marine. Yeah, sixty nine dollars. So, guess it's not on sale. For, oh, this includes. Oh wait, this is Space Marine Anniversary Edition, bro. Oh wait, no, this is the Sega's Ultimate Warhammer Forty K Collection. One hundred ninety nine dollars package info. Okay, it's been, this one's just basically Space Marine and Dawn of War. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.